have a tremendous number of, uh, of apprentices uh, working within our, our uh, company here. We hire both plumbing apprentices and welding apprentices. Uh, we have a firm commitment to the uh, uh, ITA and training of apprentices, uh, mainly because we want to train young people to have a trade that they can move on with if they're no longer attached to this, this organization or if they move out of the area for whatever reason. Um, uh, we believe that um, trades training is, is uh, very important because it formalizes the relationship uh, between an employee and their trade. I believe very firmly that innovation plays a key part of, of our organization. It allows us to, um, to train young people uh, within their basic thinking processes that they come to us with. For example, uh, so much of what we do here now is uh, computer driven uh, and obviously the younger generation understands uh, pictures far better than they would understand uh, what I would refer, would refer to as old school uh, technical drawings. Uh, not that that's not important, but we realize that they can catch on far faster if they have a complete uh, TV picture of what they're attempting to build. So how the lens has helped us around here is we've actually eliminated the drawings and having to go back and forth between the drawings, save time in that, in that sense, and uh, it gets the, the younger kids that are apprentices into technology earlier so that they can uh, start getting higher and higher in their knowledge of uh, the way plumbing works, the way heating works and all that stuff. It's just kind of a nice little thing. And at Pitt Meadows, we're always trying to do new and innovative, innovative things. And uh, that's just something that we've started because we know that it'll give us an advantage going forward. And uh, it's just kind of neat. You're not having to refer to drawings and stuff all the time. Um, you have the model right there in front of you where you're actually working. Everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. So to start, um, I tried it two different ways. I tried actually having a, a life-size 3D model kind of put up so that when we were setting our frames and uh, putting the pieces together, it was actually life-size and I could see exactly where everything was supposed to go. Um, once the frames were set up, we, we could go through and we marked where all the hangers were supposed to go. I also tried having a small kind of, kind of 3D model that was, that was about that big, just sitting kind of in the middle of the workspace that you can turn and flip. And so while you're working, there's always a, a 3D model or diagram right there um, when you're setting it up. We look for uh, to build a relationship with uh, young employees that, uh, that hopefully they'll stick around for the long term. Uh, we have a tremendous track record of, of um, not only uh, working with and, and training young people, but maintaining them right through into the, the point of them becoming a journey person and uh, continue on to work for us. One of the biggest advices I have for any employer that's looking to hire young people is, is to, to take the risk, uh, realize that yes, there's challenges, but uh, also there's tremendous benefits from uh, working with the younger generation. Uh, again, their enthusiasm that they bring to the workplace. Uh, their questions sometimes are amazing because you sometimes answer their question to find out that yes, there's probably no reason why we're still doing that. Um, but there is tremendous uh, uh, enthusiasm that comes to the workplace when you have a large number of young people.